demand an answer. I think the only one that doesn't have a, a, an implied responsibility with it is this one, petition. I think the responsibility is on the government's shoulders. They have a responsibility to answer our damn questions. They work for us. So here we are at the end of the Constitutional Convention now. Ben Franklin is sick, he's old, he's in pain. 81 years old. He'd been sitting in a chair, he couldn't move. He gets up and he leaves. And on the way out, because people didn't know, what are we gonna have? Are we going back to a king? People wanted to make George Washington king. So they said, Mr. Franklin, what did you give us? A republic or a monarchy? Franklin responded, a republic, if you can keep it. If you can keep it. None of us really ever realized, at least I didn't, maybe you did, I didn't realize how fragile this thing was until September 11th. Made me pay attention. We weren't promised that life was going to be easy. We weren't promised happiness. We were promised the ability to pursue it. No one said you'd get there. No one said it would be easy. In fact, the founders didn't think it'd even last this long. Franklin's response seems to indicate that the sentiment, that was the sentiment in the room that day. And that was day number one, and they were counting them day by day. Well, America, here we are now on day 81,299 of the American experiment. And somewhere, and I can pinpoint it, I think, kind of in the decade, but I don't think I can get any closer than that. Somewhere during those 80,000 days, we started taking for granted the gift that we were given. We dropped the ball. It's our fault, too. The press dropped the ball. They're still dropping the ball. The enemy is not the Republicans. It's not the Democrats. It's not the president. It's not it. It's a distortion of the truth. That's the enemy. That somehow or another, big government is good. That's not true. The founders have been proven right over and over and over again. When the government gets too big or out of control, it always ends the same way, and it's not a happy ending. We're putting a documentary out called Progressivism, America's Cancer. It is an in-depth look at how progressives threw America way off track around the turn of the century. If you sign up for the free email newsletter at glenbeck.com, I'm going to link to that for you, and you'll get important historical information that you don't see anyplace else. And I'm, I'm going to start asking you to do a few things every day because you need to get up off the couch. And I don't mean go stand in a crowded tea party. I mean you.